Okay, so let's begin with uh, element number one. Okay, element number one is to ask a relatable question or a universal or an enrolling question. Okay, so what that means is, and again, if you're doing this together with me, what I'd like you to do is I would like you to open up a Microsoft Word file or if you're Facebook and type in, right, element number one, right, which is a question which they will answer yes to. Okay, so I want you to think about what question can you start off your ad with that you know they will say yes to. If you've heard me speak in proven presentations, you know that the terminology making it good. To make it good, you want to have a balance between internal and external. Okay, so how do you do that, right? To ask a relatable question that they will answer yes to and have a balance between internal and external. What's internal, what's external? The mistake many people make in copying is usually they say things like, um, would you like to make more money? Okay, now this question is very internal and it sounds very get rich quick. It sounds very sleazy and slick, right? It's, it sounds like those, um, it's, too, it's, too in, it's, it's too much about the internal, right? Internal is just about you. External, needs to be about something that's beyond themselves, right? Take, so for example, right? So let, let me just give you examples over here. So if you, your benefits, okay, so question they will say yes to is would be, um, have you wondered how to, let's say result, result they want to generate, without doing the thing they hate. Remember how to X and Y without Z, right? We, that, we did that in proven presentations, right? Without doing the thing they hate. Okay, so that would be a good question that you can build. Now, again, if you're, doing, if you're on this call, I want you doing this together with me. Okay, that's how you get the most out of it. So think about a question that they will say yes to, the result they want to generate without doing the thing they hate, right? So for example, it would be ever wondered how you can publish your very own book in a weekend without writing a single word, right? So let me just put under examples. Right, so obviously if you have a book publishing course or seminar or workshop or webinar, then that could be your open, right? And you're targeting people who want the authors. It could be, um, I'm just gonna use this formula, right? Ever wondered how you can conduct a webinar and have your audience wanting to invest in what you have to offer without being salesy, pushy, or manipulative, right? So these are some, these are some examples, right? So, what I like you to be thinking about right now is kind of notice these examples, right? It's, I want it to be more than just internal, right? What is external? External, let me give you examples of external. External is things like taking care of the people around you, right? Making a difference changing lives, 
sharing your message. Right? Stuff like that. So every time you think of benefit statements, try to have it as a balance between internal and external. Okay, that's how you do it. So these are some examples. So let's go back to this one again. All right, so it was like, want to know how I quit my low paying job, retired my parents and created the lifestyle of my dreams. So that's, that's number one, right? Element number one, ask a relatable question. Now, if you're on this call, what I want you to do is write down your first opening element number one, put it in the chat because we'll take a look at it after, right? So, and, and, I'll, and I'll coach you on how you can refine it as well. You know, ask a relatable question. Okay, so that is number one, okay? So this, imagine this, just, is just like a presentation. People are listening to you for, or rather write, uh, scrolling through Facebook. And as they are scrolling through Facebook, then they see this post. Now, in fact, even before this post, in fact, before these seven elements, here's something I should have, I should, I should mention, okay? On what makes a great ad. What makes a great ad is that it should not look like an ad. Okay, so in order to have a good ad, the first thing you got to remember about running ads is, first of all, it should not come from a, a Facebook um, company name page. Why? It is because people in general, if they see an ad from a company name, they get turned off because they know it's an ad straight away, right? If you see a company name from on Facebook, Remember, people don't go on Facebook to look at ads. The psychology of it is they're scrolling, they're trying to look for something interesting, funny, engaging, they'll try to look at what their friends are saying, right? So it needs to blend in, but at the same time, stick out. Right? I'll, I'll talk about what I mean. So that's number one. Number one is the engage, an, an engaging question, okay? So what is your engaging question? If you have your engaging question up, then write it in the chat so that I can see it. Okay, so that's number one. 